The radar works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There are many different parts of the radar system. The dome, which protects the radar from the weather and elements, houses the radar dish. This dish is an integral part of the radar system, and it's huge. It's 28 feet across, and even though it weighs a ton, due to counterbalancing, I can move this pretty easily with just one hand. The dish rotates inside the dome, and at the same time, it emits pulses, up to 1,000 pulses every second. Those pulses are how the radar detects precipitation in the atmosphere. When a pulse hits a raindrop, for instance, that signal bounces back to the radar. Sent down here to our main building. The return signals from those pulses are sent to a computer system which analyzes and interprets the information. That information is used by the National Weather Service office to generate the products which are made available to the media and the public. This is an important part. John Jensenius has worked for the National Weather Service for almost 42 years and has been here at the Gray office for 23 years now. When I first started in the Weather Service, it was just kind of a blurry image of where the precipitation was, and you really didn't have a sense of, uh, of you know, exactly what was out there. Radar technology has changed tremendously over the years. One of the most beneficial improvements, the addition of dual pole capabilities. This allows us to get information from two different directions, horizontal and now vertical. This lets us decipher the size, shape, and variety of precipitation. We are also able to see the flow towards and away from the radar. This is especially crucial for forecasting thunderstorms. If we see the air moving toward us and away from us in a very confined area, it's indicating that the thunderstorm may be spinning or rotating, which uh, tells us it's a more severe thunderstorm and leads us to the possibility that there could be a tornado. All of that data comes together to allow meteorologists to inform the public of potentially threatening weather. While that is the critical job of the radar, the team that comes together to make these products is just as important. Everybody wants to know a little bit more about weather, and weather impacts day-to-day uh, -day uh, decisions that everybody makes, and uh, really it's the people you work with that make the difference. In Gray, Jacqueline Thomas, WMTW News 8.